Ladies and gentlemen, gather round because we're about to unveil the fantastic world of the MG4 car. Middle-aged warriors, this one's for you. Prepare to be amazed, entertained, and heck, maybe even laugh a little. Trust me, this car's got more charm than a dad joke at a barbecue. Let's dive right into the marvelous MG4. Greetings, distinguished drivers. Let's start with the pros of the MG4. This car isn't just a set of wheels, it's an extension of your personality. With sleek lines and modern aesthetics, it's like a tailored suit for the road. Imagine turning heads like you're walking into a reunion after shedding those extra quarantine pounds. Hold on to your leather seats because this ride is equipped with an infotainment system that's fancier than your best china. It's more than just a touchscreen. It's your tech-savvy sidekick. From directions to blasting your favorite playlist, it's like having a personal concierge minus the tip. The car has five different configurations. The standard one, which has the cheapest price of all. As its name indicates, it has the least features of all. But it undoubtedly has more technology than any more expensive car from another brand. This model has an LFP battery with a capacity of 51 kW that provides a WLTP range of 217 miles, while its other configurations provide 280 miles with a 64 kW NCM battery. I will name the different configurations and their characteristics from cheapest to most expensive. The next configuration is the Comfort, which has the largest battery of NCM technology that gets the 280 miles in the WLTP cycle. Apart from the battery, it also has seats with some leather details, 17-inch wheels, and tinted rear windows. The next configuration has a nicer name, since its price is also nice in relation to quality price than what the product really is. It shares the same battery as its brother, the Comfort, which I have forgotten to say that thanks to NCM technology, it charges much faster. On fast chargers such as the Tesla Supercharger, which is capable of charging the battery from 20 to 80%, in about 35 minutes. Without deviating too much from the topic, the luxury model that had not yet been mentioned as its name indicates is a little more beautiful since it incorporates a double spoiler at the rear and four cameras, a front one, two sides, one on each side, and the rear. And also what sets it apart is the design of the hubcaps, which I personally don't like on any of the models. Even if they do it for those 10% efficiency, I prefer to change the tires and put ones I like. Next comes the long range configuration, which without giving it much importance, what varies from the others is that its battery has a capacity of 323 miles of autonomy. Finally, I am going to show you the most radical configuration. There is no car with these characteristics at the price of this configuration in the MG4. It is the X power configuration. It does 0 60 in 3.8 seconds with two motors that together add 435 horsepower. I know that I have not talked about prices, since in each country and in each place in the world, the price varies depending on the aid or the economy of each country. I would like you to comment if you would buy the MG4 in any of its configurations and mention which one you would choose. I think that to make the leap to electric, it is the perfect car, since it incorporates the latest technologies in terms of driving and batteries, since they come from China a place where electric cars have been driving on their roads for a long time. And we all know that it is one of the, the most technologically advanced places on Earth.